Like everybody's taking a turn on who's going to win, you know, and, and it might be it might be a situation since it's warm up races. Guys are testing different things. They're trying different. They're trying different tires. They're trying different air pressures. They're trying, you know, just a different, you know, oldness of tires or newness of tires. Just trying to figure out what they need to do later on to be good when the money comes around. And welcome to the folks watching on Facebook Live here in Daytona. We are at the third, final day of the Daytona Cart Week, 50th annual Daytona Cart League Cart Week. Hard to believe that we've been around 50 years down here. Share this, share the video, pitrow.tv. We'll show you a couple races here. Get enough viewers, and we possibly will give you a third one. So share it, share it, share it. Hit that subscribe button too. Go over, subscribe to pitrow.tv, $24.95 a month. And you don't just get go-kart racing, you get all kinds of car racing as Hunter alluded to yesterday. They cover the Cars Tour and uh, several other forms of racing. So you get a lot of bang for your buck here. And what you're seeing on the screen right now, Pro Junior One is on the Speedway. And here is your starting lineup, starting on pole to 188 of Caleb Neville, Noble, sorry, the double zero of Eli Nelson, starting third to 57 of Ray and Mark Gibbs, starting fourth to 99 of EJ Rich, the 95 of Cruz Lopez, the five of Camden Hart, the uh, 12th of Cruz Fudge, the 11 of Asher Hines, the 505 of Wyndon Shaw, the 94 of Braden Chavis. 11 through 20 as we go to the 26 of Shelby Reichner. 12th start spot goes to the 3X three, three of Gage Steiner. Starting 13th goes to the 131 of Nick Newsom. With 14th starting spot goes to the 89 of Raylan Morris. Starting 15th goes to the 330 of Cannon Todd. With 16th going to the 19 of Joey Williams. Starting 17th will go to the 77 of Aiden Lou Nord. And starting 18th goes to the 718 of Davis Showers the third. Starting 19th goes to the three of Sadie Parsons. And starting 20th will go to the 121 of Cohen Moore. Once again, comment where you're watching from and just share that broadcast out. We'd love to hear from you. Comment where you're watching from. Share that broadcast out. We'd love to hear from you. Just let us know where you're watching from, and uh, we'll be glad to chime in with you. Just be, get, get interactive with us on social media, on Facebook. And once again, just uh, we'll show you this race. And we, we will be showing you the semi-pro race coming up here in just a moment. Semi-pro, drivers, make your way to the grid. Semi-pro, make your way to the grid, please. Semi-pro, make your way to the grid. And 50th super heavy warm-up. Sem Semi-pro and 50th super heavy warm-up to the grid. Semi-pro and 50th super heavy warm-up. Make your way to the grid, please. 15-lap feature here in Pro Junior 1. Caleb Nabble going to lead them to the green flag. Field going single file down the back straight away here at the Daytona flat track. Flagman pointing over to Jurg and the head flagman. Green is out. Tennessee's C Caleb Noble leading the field to the green flag. Eli Nelson, Ray and Gibbs, and they're tangling the field, tangling in one and two. And a big melee in turn one and two. Carts going everywhere and we're in turn one and two. And the first time I've said this all weekend, Brian, we have opened up a Waffle House, our first Waffle House, because they're scattered, smothered, and covered over in turn number two. This is the Junior One Division. We had a uh, little issue last night of coming to the time limit on this class. Hopefully, we don't have that issue tonight. Hunter, here is the replay. It looked like Enon, Eli Nelson got into Caleb Nibble, and we'll show you from the front front stretch here as everybody was kind of going on the corner all at the same time, a little impatient. It was some bumper tag. It started. It was an accordion effect. Eli Nelson got into Nibble, and then Gibbs, Rich making contact as well. Nelson went in the infield back onto the racetrack. Cruz Futch got co collected as well. And a couple other carts. I believe Asher Hines was one of them. And Nick Newsom was another one of those carts in return number two. Just another one of those chain reactions. Once one person hits the brakes, and then if somebody don't hit the brakes, and then it's just an accordion effect from there on back. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. And especially these junior classes, it's definitely an accordion effect. 
it, if something happens in the front, it's going to go all the way to the back, and that's what happened just then. And it appears we got one dead in the water somewhere on the racetrack. Looks like right here at the start finish line, looks like Gage Steiner. They're going to fire him back up. Gage is going to take off again. We're going to get lined up and try to go green. Hopefully next time by. Few people chiming in with us. It looked like the member of the Shaw family, somebody of the Wind and Shaw crew from Mississippi, and tuning in with us. Some Colin Stewart fans out of Louisiana, also Owasso, Michigan. Owasso Motorsports Park watching. Uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, Jacksonville, Florida. And Shelby Reitner is going to get the cart fired back up in that 26 and rejoin the field. So once again, no laps completed. That was the first attempt, so we'll bunch them back up. A regional lineup, and we will try it once again. Semi-Pro, make your way to the grid. Semi-Pro, make your way to the grid, please. Semi-Pro, make your way to the grid. Semi-Pro, make your way to the grid, please. You're next. Daytona 50th Super Heavy Warm-Ups to the grid. 50th Super Heavy Warm-Up to the grid for your feature as well. And Shelby Rockner are going to rejoin the field back there. You see on Pit Road TV trying to get tucked back in line where she needs to start. And that is the... She'll be starting behind Braden Chavis, who picked up a couple of wins yesterday. That's probably the only driver this weekend that has really dominated anything in the juniors was Braden Chavis, and uh, he went on a tear yesterday. And then Wendell, his dad, uh, went on to win uh, last night in, in the uh, singer champ, actually the uh, uh, super heavy warm-up race. He was able to pick up that win last night as well. Got folks watching all over the country here. Grove City, Ohio, Kenley, North Carolina, out in Louisiana. More contact there coming to the green is Camden Harp. A bunch of them make contact and it might have been more of a chain reaction right there. Our buddy Phil Combs tuning in all the way up in Shelby, North Carolina. Another announcer friend of mine, Cody Early, announces for the Ray Cook Southern National Series and also the uh, Crate Race in USA Shanks is joining in with us. Good to have you, my good to have you, my friend. If you are ever up in the Shelby, North Carolina area, stop by the Combs Family Museum. And, hey, I'm uh, ten check minutes out from there. Phil's museum, I tell you, you won't regret it. I'm ten minutes from there, Brian. I live please, in Shelby. Tell me, please tell me you've been there. Oh, yeah, I've been there many, many, many times. Waycross, Georgia, tuning in. That's my neck of the woods, up around Waycross. 145 viewers right now are going to try to get that up just a little bit more. No. Share, 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 so you can get an extra race, folks. Keep sharing. Let's try to get up to 300 viewers. Decatur, Alabama. I swear every state has a Decatur. That's true. Toledo, Ohio, <laughs> to, tuning in. We're going to go try to go green here off this back straightaway, give them a little bit slower pace. And Gavin Everett on the back straightaway guiding these kids, getting ready to go. And, you know, you might have a mixture of drivers that have been in junior one a little bit of while, and then you have some that have just moved up from red plate. So still learning the, uh, the, the uh, you know, the, the whole, the, the roles of racing and what do, to do and what not to do. Learning the tricks of the trade, I should say. As Ray Ann Gibbs gets shoved out of line there, and now Cruz Lopez, Camden Harp to the inside. Looks like a little bit more calmer than the previous attempts right here. And I spoke too soon. Asher Hines getting collected right there, and he spins across the track in turn number three. We're going to stay green, it looks like. A couple cars, another car over there. Around. Oh, that's a bunch of them. Raylan Morris over there. Shelby Reichner. We've Cohen Moore, another one of those cars collected. And I believe the 131 of Nick Newsom over there was involved as well. And as we pace around here, look and see where some folks are watching from. 
Waxhaw, North, Waxhaw, North Carolina, Tyndale Air Force Base in Florida, Harlem, Georgia, Newton, North Carolina, got them in Indiana, Kentucky, Oxford, Alabama, Shelbyville, Tennessee, got some more folks watching from Louisiana, Indianapolis, Indiana. Mechanicsville, Virginia. Elon, North Carolina. Thompson, Georgia. Lexington, Kentucky. So keep sharing. Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. China Grove, North Carolina. And I'm, I'm sure you've heard this guy, a famous uh, a Dirt Lake model racer, Dennis Rambo Franklin. Have you heard of him? I'm sure you have. He's, I've seen him tuning in watching. Good friend of mine as well. As we've got the carts under the red flag here for just a moment. And race director Corey Ash on the racetrack telling them to cut their carts off. Checking on, checking on drivers over here in turn number four. Elizabeth City, North Carolina, Kingsport, Tennessee, Illinois. Clemson, South Carolina. Got another one from Shelby, North Carolina. Ainer, South Carolina. Ainer, home of Low Country Cartway. WK Nationals used to run up there. Phenomenal facility. That's a fast racetrack up in Ainer at Low Country. That's the hottest I've ever been in my life at a racetrack. There is absolutely no shade at that racetrack, Hunter. The summer nationals there back in early 2000s with in late 90s was brutal. Lewisburg, West Virginia, Callahan, Florida, Salisbury, North Carolina, New Lebanon, New York, Brunswick, Georgia, just down the road from where I'm located, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, down in the bayou. Lancaster, South Carolina, Syracuse, New York. So appreciate everybody tuning in. Carnesville, Georgia. Georgia Karting Complex. Once again, keeping everybody under the red flag right here, just checking on the drivers, making sure everybody's okay. Couple cars getting involved there, including Braden Chavis, and they're pushing that cart back behind the pit wall, and he has walked away, and they're going to take him for further observation over here, make sure he is good to go. Monroe, Louisiana, home of Duck Dynasty. Jacksonville, Florida, Wisconsin. We got him watching all over the country, Hunter. Come on, let's get these viewers up. We only got 154 right now, 154. As time has stopped, as we could see into a red flag situation here. Have about eight minutes complete in this race. And no laps have been ran as of yet. Jeff Starr watching from Daytona. You should be here, Jeff. Newberry, South Carolina, Arizona. A friend of mine is watching from Andy McGronagall is watching from Phoenix last night. Once again, going to get ready to fire him back up here since we get everybody in line once again. And these races have time limits right here. We're almost eight minutes in, but still zero laps complete. So. 
We'll assess the situation as we get closer to that time limit here, and this time has stopped, but still Caleb Novel, your race leader, Eli Nelson, Ray Ann Gibbs, EJ Rich, Cruz Lopez, Camden Hart, Cruz Futch, Asher Hines, Wendon Shaw, and then Shelby Reichner, Gage Steiner, Nick Newsom, Raylan Morris, Cannon Todd, Joey Williams, and then Aiden Lunord Carm. Also, Davis Showers the third, Sadie Parsons, and Cohen Moore. Got folks watching from Greenville, South Carolina, Georgetown, South Carolina, Cochran, Georgia. They just built a brand new cart track up in Cochran, Georgia. Check them out. Got folks watching in Ohio, Dixie, Georgia. Still only at 150 views. Let's get them up. If you want to get an extra race, you'll get this race and one more unless we get the views up. Semi-pro drivers be in the grid ready. Semi-pro drivers be in the grid ready. Semi-pro, this is this red flag is giving you a few extra minutes, so you need to be in the grid ready to go. Semi-pro, make your way to the grid. We also need our super heavy, our 50th super heavy warm-up drivers make your way to the grid. 50th super heavy warm-up drivers make your way to the grid, please. For a quick fix of motorsports news, the Speed Sport Daily is what you need. It's a free racing newsletter delivered directly to your email every day. We'll cover the winners and the losers and tell you who's making news off the track. It's NASCAR, NHRA, World of Outlaw, IndyCar, and so much more. Go to speedsport.com today and get signed up for America's free racing newsletter and get your daily motorsports fix. The Speed Sport Daily. And we're back here in Daytona. Needed to get these viewers up 100 and, well, 157. It dropped off some. Miss Lori Peters tuning in. Wife of VP Racing Engines owner, Victor Peters. So once again, drivers, if semi-pro drivers, if you would, go ahead and get sat down for us. That'd help out, just that'd help out a ton. So once again, go ahead and set those cars down, please. Cruz Lopez got pulled off the speedway, got one sent, get sent into the infield. Wind and Shaw, the 505, getting turned across into the infield. And caution will wave once again, and we are eight laps in, or eight minutes in. 
And we have yet to complete a lap, and it's a 15 lap or 15 minute time limit race. Almost a replay of last night, Hunter. You know, you know. Sometimes it's just, it, it, um, you know, when you have different uh, different elements, you know, and uh, you know, there's, sometimes there's impatience. You know, we've seen it in the adult classes too. You know, we've seen it there too. So, you know, anytime that there's, and just anytime that somebody hits the brake and then there's a chain reaction, it goes on, and then uh, you know, you don't know. It's hard to predict what's actually going to happen. So. I think once we get going here in a minute, I think once we can get going, I believe everything will be fine once we, everybody gets spread out. And the shark, Clay Harris, tuning in. Clay Harris has had some good runs in the past here in Daytona whenever he was in carts. Oh, Clay Shark Harris, same, same person I'm thinking about. Same Clay Harris I'm thinking about. Yes, sir. Oh, he was he was he was he was a one he was one bad man at one time in the junior ranks, especially when he got in junior three. It seemed like the man wanting the kid won everything at that time. I don't know. Well, he ain't necessarily a kid now, but he's had a pretty successful career in the late model world. Bill, we are in Daytona Beach, Florida, here at the Daytona Flat Track at the Daytona International Speedway. And this is the final day of the 50th annual Daytona Cart Week. 50 years we've been down here for the Daytona Cart Week. Looking forward to 51 years next year when we return. Not only does the dirt carts run here at the flat track, also the Enduros are on the big track and the sprint carts run down in turns three and four on the inside of the racetrack. Wynn and Shaw making a move on the restart down there under EJ Ridge. He's got Cruz Futch alongside him. Gage Steiner in there in that battle as well. As we get through one and two, and we're clean through one and two, let's see, we're almost halfway there for the first lap. And it's still Caleb Nobel out front. Eli Nelson looking to the inside of him through turn three and four. And it looks like, I believe we're going to get a lap in, Brian. One complete this time by. Got Hopefully one into they the got it all the out of their system. We're going to stay green. Caution is out again. That was Gage Steiner getting turned into the wall down the front straightaway. And everybody crossed the line, so we do have one officially in the books. We do have one lap complete. And here's the replay, and Wendon Shaw got into the right rear of the three cart of Gage Steiner and whipped him around, and Steiner was loose across the track, and then E.J. Rich was behind him. As Steiner went underneath, Shaw, Gage Steiner turned up the racetrack, and Shaw got, ended up getting into Shaw's left front, and across the track, the three went. So it looked like the three of Gage Steiner started going up the racetrack and got into Wendon Shaw, turning him into the outside retaining wall. Hello there, Dale, watching from Callahan, Florida. I'll actually be in Callahan, Florida for one more for uh, one more day of announcing tomorrow, Hunter, at their New Year's shootout. So uh, you get to enjoy, you get to go back home, and I get to go do it all over again for one more day. But you still ain't nowhere near as far on, uh, far away at home as I am either. You're only about three hours from here, and I'm, I'm about seven and a half, eight, eight hours. So It is a quarter-mile flat different. track, Bill, quarter-mile flat track. It's not a reason that. We got one lap in, but, yeah, the 19th does go in front of the 30th. And once again, we was able to complete one lap there, but the good thing, good news is Gage Steiner was going to be able to continue. And looks like he might just hit the hay bales right there. If he'd have hit that retaining wall, that concrete don't give, so. Semi-Pro in the grid, final call for Semi-Pro. If you're not in the grid, you need to get there. Semi-Pro, if you're not in the grid, you need to be getting there ASAP. Daytona 50th Super Heavy warm-ups. Make your way to the grid at this time as well. And we are two minutes from the time limit in this race. Once we reach time limit, time limit we'll race to the next flag. Check it or caution. We're 13 minutes in, time limit's 15 minutes. And right now we're clean and green. 
Hopefully we stay that way, Hunter. And we got some pushing and shoving for that fourth position. Yes, indeed we do. As A.J. Rich was trying to make her move to the inside of Ray Ann Gibbs. And Gibbs and pushed him down in the infield there. As Caleb Noble still out front. Camden Harvin second. Eli Nelson in the third position. Ray Ann Gibbs in fourth. Cruz Futch into the top five. Into the 12th car. Rich in the sixth position. With right behind him, Slick Nick Newsom and Raylan Morris right there. In the eighth position, Wendon Shaw ninth. And Joey Williams able to get around Wendon Shaw. And now moves Sadie Parsons into the top ten in the three machine. And the battle's on for the second position between Camden and Hart. Camden Harp now in back in third, the double zero of Eli Nelson up in second. Your leader at the line, Kayla Nubble. Top three have broke away from this field. Nubble, Nelson, and Harp. Eli Nelson to the inside for the lead. Camden Harp working down there. We got a new leader, and it's Eli Nelson now to the lead. Camden Hart back to second. Nival in the third position. EJ Rich fourth. Raylan Morris to the fifth position. And then Slick Nick Newsom, Cruz Futch, Joey Williams, Rand Gibbs, and Sadie Parsons, your top ten. Wheel to wheel for the lead again. Eli Nelson up the track. And Camden Hart, your new race leader on lap number six as Nival will go to second at the line. And we're nearing time limit. We're about ten seconds from the time limit expiring. And here we go. Time ticking away. Halfway flags are out. Time limit has expired, so we'll go to the next flag. Time limit has expired. Next flag will end the race. Once again, as Brian just alluded to, next flag will end the race. As we go through turn three and four, Camden Harp, a huge lead out front in the five car. And then Caleb Noble, Raylan Morris, E.J. Rich, Eli Nelson, your top five. Cruz Futch, six. Joey Williams, seven. Newsom, eight. So Parsons, ninth. And Gibbs in tenth. As now Morris makes a move to the inside of Caleb Noble and move him to the second position. But it's all still Camden Hart out of Georgia in that black number five machine. He has set sail on this junior one field. Coming to five to go this time by for Camden Harp as they work down the front straightaway here at the Daytona flat track. I tell you what, second through fifth, right there under a blanket. Raylan Morris, he has fought and clawed his way up through the field. He started 14th and he's made his way up to second. Nival has he has stayed tough right there in that top three. EJ Rich in the fourth position. Eli Nelson in the top five in the double zero. As they work down the backside and Morris up the track and that opens the door and up to the inside of Caleb Noble. Norris going to block the run on the inside. More contact made. Eli Nelson spins into the infield into double zero. And he is stuck on the berm right there. You see the right front tire completely off the ground on the inside of the berm. Looks like we're going to keep it green right now with 12 complete coming to two to go this time by on Camden Harp. Camden Harp, he is on a rail as he sees the two sticks in the air, two to go. Out to about a half a straightaway lead, 1.7 seconds to be exact. As they work down the back straightaway, Camden Hart is going to take it into turn three. He's going to see the white flag this time. Camden Hart with a huge lead out front. Nobody anywhere close to catching him. Battle's going to be for third between E.J. Rich and Raylan Morris now for that third position. And a battle for the top five between Cruz Futch and Joey Williams in the pack with Sadie Parsons in that battle as well. But it's all up front in the turn number three. Your winner in Pro Junior 1 is going to go to Camden Hart. Caleb Nibel in second. E.J. Rich in third. Raylan Morris fourth. Cruz Futch fifth. Joey Williams sixth. Sadie Parsons seventh. Nick Newsom eighth. Rand Gibbs ninth. And Gage Steiner rounding out your top ten. Semi, semi pro in the grid, semi pro getting fired up in the grid, ready to go. Daytona 50th Super Heavy Warm Up in the grid, 50th anniversary. Super Heavy Warm Up drivers make your way to the grid. You're next. 50th Super Heavy Warm Up drivers make your way to the grid. You're next. Senior champs start getting your final preparations made. And we're at 210 viewers. We need to get about 90 more. 
share, share, share. And Hunter, them junior one drivers did what they did yesterday to us. They went to time limit yesterday and then they ran it to the finish. It took them 17 minutes to do it, but they made it. I mean, they made it. It was, there was a will, there was a way, and, you know, it, uh, we was able to try to keep that track cleared. And, you know, like I just previously mentioned, you know, that once they got spread out and everybody got in a rhythm, I believe you know, it's pretty much going to be good to go once we got going at that point. Daytona 50 at the Pro Clone Heavy. You should be at the grid. Or actually, uh, Daytona 50 is super heavy. Sorry, super heavy warm-up. You should be at the grid. Daytona 50 is super heavy warm-up. You should be at the grid. Champ, senior. Senior champ, be getting ready. Semi-pro rolling on the speedway now. So here's your starting lineup for your semi-pro main event. On the pole, he was your earlier Pro Junior 3 winner, Bradley Carter. Starting second will go to the 5J, your earlier clone heavy warm-up winner. It'll be Ryan Joyner. Starting third will go to the 33 of the Gaffney, South Carolina, is Kobe Lambert. Starting fourth goes to the 157, Will Powers. Starting fifth goes to the 286, Brian Spence. Starting sixth will go to the young lady of the number 10, Carly Bennett. Starting seventh goes to the 5X of Johnny Wood. Starting eighth starting spot will go to the double zero of Jake Lamb out of Tampa, Florida. Starting ninth will go to the 29 of Cole Heward. Starting 10th will go to the 111 of Dalton Wood. Starting in the 11th position will go to the 7X of Jordan Cook. 12th start spot goes to the 707 of Taylor Mitchell. 13th start spot goes to Will Gewin in the 12. Starting 14th will go to the 16 of Ryan Micah. And starting 15th goes to the Paducah, Kentucky's Logan Walston in the 56. Starting 16th in the 72, Ryan Center. Starting 17th in the 4, Kalen Hill. Starting 18th in the 505H, Graydon Hall. Starting 19th in the 36, Guy Moore. Starting 20th, the 23, uh, Lane Roy. And we're coming to the green flag. Chase Stewart, Matthew Epp, Hunter Adams, Tom Shemp, Braden Dawson, Jace Wright, Bryson Duncan, Brody Bajor, Noah Ennis, and Michael Brissett round out the field. Daytona 50th super heavy warm-ups in the grid as we are underway. Brian Spence making a move underneath the Wilson Powers as they go through turn three and four. Carly Bennett got sideways and was able to save the 10 car. Lap one goes in the book and it's Bradley Carter out front. Joyner, Lambert, Spence, Powers, Bennett, Wood, Lamb, Dalton Wood, Cole Heward, your top 10 as we race off into turn three and four. And a little pushing and shoving in the 10th around that top 10 position as they come down the front straight away. Bradley Carter in the lead. Got two cars around in the turn four area. Caution is out. Looks like cart number 36, a guy more. And we're going to give you the instant replay on Pit Road TV. Bennett and, and Johnny Wood and those starts started battling. They were wheel to wheel. And it looks like Guy Howard Moore and a couple carts got shuffled out. Taylor Mitchell was one of them. And we'll take a look, a look at an angle here as they were sideways right on your screen. Taylor Mitchell got shuffled out. Guy Moore and Will Gewin. Just follows suit and pushed way out to the top of the racetrack and into the loose stuff and around they went coming off of turn number four. Twenty laps or twenty minutes the scheduled distance for this semi pro main event. Daytona Super, Daytona 50th Super Heavy Warmups in the grid, followed by Senior Champs to the grid as well. Fifteen laps or fifteen minutes. Sorry, it was a it, it, thought it was twenty, but it's actually fifteen laps or fifteen minutes. My apologies, there. So it's fifteen laps or fifteen minutes is the scheduled distance. And we did get a lap in, so we'll get them lined back up here. And go back green racing in just a moment. 
Want to thank our sponsors once again for the WK, MC Motorsports, Armor Metals, Armstrong Performance, Todd Miller Racing Engines, QCS, True Temp, also J. Carter Logging, Avis Electric, VP Racing Engines, Millennium Racing Chassis, Bradford Racing, Triple A, and Ultramax Racing Chassis. And you see on your pit road TV screen, Jay Owens right there. He's on the uh, he one of our track stewards this weekend. And that Ginger Owens race a little bit later on will be in honor of his late mother who uh, died, who passed away from cancer a few years ago. And we try try to raise uh, any time for this Ginger Owens Memorial race. Try to as much raise as much money up for charity to be able to help with cancer foundations of many different aspects. So, once again, we appreciate him being a part of our crew here this weekend as well here at the Daytona International Speedway. Once again, one complete break of the Bradley Carter, your race leader. Ryan Joyner in second. Kobe Lambert scored in the third spot. Brian Spence in fourth. Will Powers fifth. Carly Bennett sixth. Johnny Wood seventh. Jeff, or, uh, Jake Lamb in eighth. Dalton Wood in ninth. And rounding out your top ten right now that currently stands as Cole Hewitt in the 29. Daytona fit gets super heavy warm up. Fit gets super heavy warm up in the grid. Need you guys ready to go. And we will need after that senior champ. Lights extinguished around the speedway. We're going to come to the green this time by at the hands of the little bulldozer, Bradley Carter out of Florence, South Carolina. The Jay Carter logging. Andrew Slim Williams prepared, number 151, as he'll bring him to the green flag this time by. We're back underway. Jason Higgy watching at home. Hello, Jason Higgy. And we're racing again here in Daytona. We got one lap complete of 15, and we got 10 minutes left in the time limit. Wilson Powers getting hung out there, losing a couple of spots as they come through turn three and four. Taylor Mitchell going around to the top of turn number four. And it looks like he's gonna, we're gonna try to keep it green here, here in the top four on your screen coming at you. As we got a battle for fifth, Johnny Wood up to the fifth spot. He'll bring Lamb and Dalton Wood with him to the inside. Here comes Wilson Powers, but the top four knows the tail and one and two between Bradley Carter, Ryan Joyner, Kobe Lambert, and Brian Spence, your top four, three complete. Down that back straightaway. Out front, Bradley Carter still shows the way. He picked up the win earlier in Pro Junior 3. Got Ryan Joyner in tow. Kobe Lambert back in third. Brian Spence and Johnny Wood. Got several of the Junior 3 drivers trying their hand in some of their unrestricted stuff. And Bradley Carter is your leader. 10 to go here in semi-pro at Daytona. And we got carts going everywhere down in turn one. I believe that was Carly Bennett ended up going around over there, but I believe the caution was coming out as you see Dalton Wood around in the 111 cart. Dalton Wood here on the front straightaway around in that 111. It's been a definitely an up and down weekend. He started off. Um, he started off yesterday. When we run the Vega classes. He was right up at the front of the field. He was doing really good in those uh, in those classes. And we transferred over to Max's. He's kind of been struggling as the field spanned out wide and wood and banged hard into the wall into the hay bales there. About the fifth place cart, they started fanning out wide and about those carts and Dalton Wood paid the price and a nasty lick coming off turn number four right here. And I tell you, we got some uh, phenomenal entry count here this week for three days. I mean, we're up around 14, 1,500 entries at the old municipal stadium. We was around 2,000. So, you know, still a good ways off, but compared to where it was at when it first started down here at the Daytona Flat Track, some great entry counts here this weekend. We got. 500 plus yesterday 565 i think was the count for the maxis classes yesterday i mean anytime you have a f over 500 entries in one day it's absolutely it's absolutely uh phenomenal once again you know these last couple of years you know the entry counts have been bumping back up i mean it was still 
It started rising back up about the time I started coming about uh, about five or six years ago. I've been here about every year since about 2017, 2018, except last year. But I tell you what, you know, it's I mean probably about the biggest entry counts that I've seen since I've been coming here to Daytona. Four laps complete in this one officially. Bradley Carter, your race leader. Ryan Joyner in second. Kobe Lambert in third. Brian Spence in fourth. Johnny Wood in fifth. Jake Lamb in sixth. Dalton Wood. Actually, it'll be Wilson Powers in seventh. Grayton Hall will be eighth. Jordan Cook will be ninth. And Carly Ben will restart in the tenth position, even though she spun over here. That was after the caution had come out. And also, Brian, there's my boss man from the Blue Ridge Outlaw Lake models tuning in, Mr. Jason Smoot. And uh, I'm like, I don't know. He don't know. My, I, try, I teach him a little bit about car racing, but, uh, yeah, you know, he teaches me about track prep. So I guess it goes hand in hand. But uh, once again, appreciate every one of you tuning in with us on our live feed. And we appreciate the comments and uh, seeing all these comments from all over the country. It's pretty cool to see. Daytona 50, a super heavy warm up. You should be on the grid. Daytona 50, a super heavy warm-up. You should be in the grid. Senior champ, you should be at the grid as well. Pro Junior 2, be getting ready. All right, all right, Facebook. We'll go ahead and, we'll go ahead and give you up to the task here. If we get to 230 viewers... By the time this 235 viewers, by the time this race is over, we will give you one more free look in. If we get to 235 viewers, we will give you one more look in. As we're back underway here in semi pro, here comes Brian Spence, whoa, way down low. And now he's going to hang on to the 286, and that allows Kobe Lambert to go to third. Johnny Wood and Brian Spence make contact. Wood in the wall hard over in turn number three. Johnny Wood getting into the hay bales hard down in turn three. As you mentioned, Hunter, Bradley Carter shows the way down the back straightaway. Ryan Joyner in second. Kobe Lambert caution will wave once again, and we are nearing time limit in this race. Johnny Wood, look at the damage. The left side, the nerf bar has been caved in. The body's been caved in. I guarantee you there's more damage right there. I, you can see. There possibly could be a bend on one of the wheels there because uh, on the left rear wheel, you can zoom in, you can see it could be possibly a bend. It don't look, it looks pretty circular right now. I, I believe it might be safe, but definitely the uh, the tire preparation that they put into those has definitely gone out to dry. Yeah, as you can see, they're definitely not running much air pressure. Brian Spence got shoved down on the inside, and then when he got back in line and he nailed Johnny Wood, and then he bounced off of him and then into the outside wall. As you see, Spence coming back up the track, he got back in the groove, into Johnny Wood, and then did a free slide all the way across the track and a big hit in turn number three. I mean, even though those hay bales are there, that is still a big lick. Only need about six more viewers, two more viewers. We're at 233, 230. Six more people, six more. Come on. Come on. We know you can do it. If you can't find six more people, heck, we got problems. 11 minutes in, four complete. We're near near this time limit here. Semi pro, or super heavy warm-up, 50 super heavy warm-up in the grid. Singer champs to the grid. Bradley Carter, your race leader. Kobe Lambert to the inside of Ryan Joyner. Move him up to second. Brian Spence will go to third. Joyner back to fourth. Jake Lamb, your top five, and now Spence. And Joyner make contact. They're scattering across the speedway. And here comes Wilson Powers in there. Jake Lamb, they bounce off each other. Brian Spence gets thrown anchor down the back straightaway as chaos ensues into turn number three. And we got cars everywhere down in turns three and four. Bradley Carter, he's working off of turn two. Ryan Joyner closing in on Kobe Lambert. Joyner's going to make the pass down in turn three. Give Ryan Joyner back to second spot. Ryan. Here comes Kobe Lambert looking back to the inside. Lambert takes back over second. They're swapping it up. 
And Will Powers is closing in on that group as well. And another driver who's made himself up through the field, Jordan Cook, a solid run for that young man into the fifth position in that seven cart. Chase Stewart has made his way up to the sixth position from 21st in the 40 cart. Good move for him as well. Graydon Hall, Cole, Cole Heward, Logan Walston, and Braden Donaldson, your top ten, as they're swapping for that second position. Joyner's going to reclaim the second spot. Lambert back to third. Wilson Powers in fourth. And Jordan Cook fifth, but it's all Bradley Carter out front. Nine laps complete coming to ten this time by. Laps ticking away here in semi-pro, and so is that time limit. Five to go. We're at 247 viewers. And Bradley Carter continues to show the way as he has since the beginning of this race. Ryan Joyner back in second, Kobe Lambert, Will Powers, and Jordan Cook. Four laps to go coming to three, and Bradley Carter looking to get his second win on the day. He started out with the win in the Pro Junior Three race a little bit earlier, and he is dominating here in semi-pro. Ryan Joyner, Kobe Lambert, Wilson Powers, Jordan Cook, your top five still. As we run to complete lap number 13 this time by, it'll be two laps to go for Florence, South Carolina's Bradley Carter. Top two laps to go. Coming to the white flag this time by on Bradley, or checkered flag this time by. Bradley Carter going to get the win. Ryan Joyner in second. Kobe Lambert in third. Wilson Powers fourth. Jordan Cook fifth. Chase Stewart sixth. Cole Hewitt seventh. Logan Walston in eighth. Braden Donaldson ninth. And Carly Bennett rounding out your top ten. So Bradley Carter will take his second win of the day here in semi-pro. The Jay Carter logging premier racing chassis back number 151 as he'll go across the scales to meet the minimum weight requirement. Super heavy warm-up, super heavy warm-up in the grid. Daytona 50th super heavy warm-up drivers in the grid, please. Need you ready to go. Singer champs to the grid as well. Singer champ, make your way to the grid. Singer champ, make your way to the grid. Singer champ, make your way to the grid. Pro Junior 2, start getting ready to go. Hello, Rusty Turner watching back in Georgia. Tommy Moody, for, former promoter to the Coal Ridge Speedway. Hey, we're thinking about your brother and uh, all your loss and everything that's uh, everything that's happened. But, uh, you know, God bless you, brother, and uh, former promoter of the Coal Ridge Speedway. And Jerome, the uh, senior champs are on Clone Motors with Maxis Tires today. Clone Motors with Maxis Tires. So here's your starting lineup for your Daytona 50th Super Heavy Warm-Up main event. On the pole out in the 30 cart out of, out of Conway, South Carolina, the bone crusher Josh Johnson. Starting second to go to Tennessee's Brent Carter in the 12. Starting third to third to go to Hesabod, Georgia's Wendell Chavis in the 94. Starting fourth to go to the 312, Ashton Johnson. Starting fifth to go to the 122, a Ty Bennett. Starting sixth will go to the tall, cool one, Ryan O'Connor in the 28. Starting seventh, the low ground shaker out of Emporia, Virginia, it's Monk Newsom. Starting eighth will go to the three of Raymond Fulwell. Starting ninth will go to Tennessee's Rob Sanders. And starting tenth will go to the 88 of A.J. Pace. 
starting in the 11th position to go to the 151. Last night's Pro Super Heavy winner, the Bulldozer, Josh Carter. Starting 12th to go to the 20, a big red, A. a Caden Richardson out of Ainer, South Carolina. Starting 23rd to go to Bowling Springs, South Carolina's Christian Henson. Starting 14th to go to Lincolnton, North Carolina's Ryan Hevner in the 7. And starting 15th to go to the 5, the Wilson's Cart Shop, number 5 machine. That's going to be Mike Melton. Early off 16th, you're going to have the 59 of Tony Sanson. Starting 17th to 31 of Austin Schaefer. Starting 18th to 505 of Mitch Hendricks. Starting 19th to uh, 009 of Michael Heath. Starting 20th to 71 of Matt Lee. Starting 21st to 33 of Mitchell Bridges. Starting 22nd to 60 of Josh Haskins. Starting 23rd to 32 of Jimmy the Rooster Flynn. Starting 24th to 181 of Austin Smith. Starting 25th to 124 of Jacob Davis. Devin LaRocca, Randy Moon, Nick McRae, Stacey Evans, and Ellie Thrift Jr. round out your field. And we're under, and the green has been waved off. Green has been waved off. And it looks like Austin Schaefer, the Welsh performance entry, and that, the, the Welsh performance dri the driver that normally, you see him up there at the tra tracks like Godspeed and Ashway Speedway up in Tennessee. And looks like having a problem there on the 31, going to rejoin the field. Singer champ in the grid. Singer champ in the grid, please. Singer champ needs you in the grid. Singer champ needs you in the grid. Singer champ needs you in the grid, please. Pro Junior 2, start getting ready. Pro Junior 2, start getting ready to go. Pro Junior 2, start getting ready. And trying to get on line back up here so we can go green racing in the Daytona 50th Super Heavy warm up. In just a little bit, you'll see them out on the track again, but this time it'll be for 50 laps in the Pro Super Heavy class. So make sure you go over to pitroad.tv and subscribe. Pitroad.tv, subscribe 24.95. Like us, we've been talking about, you don't just get kart racing. You can also see kart ra uh, car racing. Uh, they also cover the cars tours. They've been covering the sprint track on the inside of the speedway. So for twenty four ninety five, you get a lot of bang for your buck. And caution will wave. We're going to pace around one more time around the Daytona flat track. I believe it's A.J. Pace having the problems trying to keep that cart running over there in that 88 over at the top of turn number one. Trying to get that cart to fire back up. Looks like having some difficulties over there. And it looks like he's climbing out of the 88 car. And it looks like AJ Pace is going to be pushing the 88 back into the pit area. Tough break on AJ Pace. He'll, he'll surrender his 10th place starting position. So that'll now give us a 10th starting spot to Josh Carter. And just heard from Jurgen, our flagman, let's ride. We're going to go green this time. Uh, 22 or 30, uh, Josh Johnson is on the loud pedal and the green is out. We got one spinning down in turn four. Everybody trying to get single file down in one and two. Josh Johnson leads up down the back straight. Johnson gets turned down off of turn two. It was a car that spun out. It was, it was coming to the green flag at the top of turn number four. And then Josh Johnson, your pole sitter, getting turned around on the back straightaway. So we'll give you the replay. Brett Carter and Josh Johnson got together. As they come around turn two, I guarantee you, Brent Carter, they were wheel to wheel for the lead, and then the caution was coming out, and they were trying to slow down. And, and as, Barrett, as uh, Brent Carter, and tucked up underneath the Josh Johnson. They made contact. Johnson got sideways, and Brent Carter just finished him off over there on the turn number two. And that could have been a whole lot worse than what that was. If well, In front of the you, whole field, that's a helpless feeling. Brent Carter actually made a good move off of turn two. 
you got to get to the bottom of the track and get up under them so you'll have the line down in turn three. Your leader, Josh Johnson, left the bottom open. You saw him work the wheel up the racetrack, uh, and uh, that enabled Brent Carter to close in. And that sent Josh Johnson spinning, so we are pacing around here in super heavy warm-up. Trying to get them lined back up in their original lineup so we can go green. You're exactly right, Kimberly. It is a beautiful day in Daytona. A little chilly. Nothing like it's been the last couple of days, though. But it is, it is a beautiful day here in Daytona. You know, watching it from home, you know, it's uh, you know, it's one thing to watch it. You know, look at the spectacle, and you can see the speedway in the background. But there's nothing actually like being here, because I don't know if it's just me or not, but just this environment. It's, uh, you know, it's unbelievable the feeling that you get here because you realize you're racing at Daytona. You're here. It's happening. You're looking at it. It's, it's an amazing feeling being here in Daytona Beach, Florida. So Josh Johnson getting a mulligan there. So he's going to be able to restart from the pole here. Brent Carter, Wendell Chavis, Ashton Johnson, Ty Bennett and company. We're back underway. Green is out. Josh Johnson leads them down in his third one. They work down the back straightaway now. Josh Johnson, Brent Carter, Wendell Chavis, Ashton Johnson, and Ty Bennett. Pushing and shoving there. Ryan O'Connor around. Josh Carter collected over in turn number four. And looks like we're going to try to keep it green if we can. Josh Johnson up the track. Here comes Wendell Chavis for the lead down the back stretch. Ty Bennett might make it three wide in the turn number three. And now he'll take the second spot away. It's going to be Chavis with the lead. Ty Bennett is second. Johnson in the third spot at the line. Rank full wheel. Ashton Johnson, your top five off of turn number two. Here comes Christian Henson and Ryan Hevner into the battle. They go down the back straight away. Raymond Falwell up into the fourth, fifth position, fourth position, looking to the inside, trying to take over third, get the third position to Raymond Falwell. And he brought Ashton Johnson with him. Monk News has been an after the caution, but Josh Carter bringing out the caution in the 151. And I just looked over and I seen the cart up in the air, so it, it wasn't good. But he was able to walk away and he was able to push the cart away, so that's the good news. He's okay. Josh Carter able to pull away and look at the damage on the right front of that 151. Part of the nose piece completely gone from the 151 of Josh Carter. And we'll give you your instant replay as Josh Carter was trying to rejoin the field. He slid across the racetrack and hard into the tires and up on his side and was able to get up out of the way and get out of harm's way. And we'll show it to you again as Carter was trying to rejoin the field. And we've seen many times a day, if you miss the exit, you're in a death slide basically and into the hay bales and boom, we're all across the racetrack, pirouetting, and then the weight transfers because of that heavy weight on the left side and then on his side he went and he was able to climb out of it as quickly as he could. And turn four really has been calamity corner today here at Daytona. Those hay bales have taken a beating down in turn four. Usually at Daytona, turn two and turn four is usually the bad areas. But actually, turn two has been kind of calm this week. Everything's happened out of turn four. Pretty much turn one and two has been pretty calm for the most part on this side of the racetrack. But over here in three and four, it's uh, it's been a whole different story over here. I think it's because of the you have a little bit more direct sunlight being beaming on the three and four side. So that could be a part of it, maybe drying that and drying that part of the track out a little bit more than over here in turn one and two. Singer champs, you should be in the grid ready, driver. Singer champ, you should be in the carts, strapped down and strapped in and ready to go. Singer champ, you should be in the grid ready to go. And that'll be our final singer champ race of the week. That'll be our final champ cart race of the week. 
Pro Junior 2 be getting ready. Pro Junior 2 be getting ready, and it won't be long before we have our first, our first 50th anniversary race. Pro Clone Heavy start getting those carts ready to go. And we've got two laps complete coming up on seven minutes in the time limit. 15 lap feature here in the super heavy warm up. Field getting ready to go green once again. And Wendell Chavis leads them off of turn four. Raymond Falwell gets shuffled up to the top side of the racetrack. Falwell is going to fall deep into the field. Wendell Chavis in, the, in that lead right now. Ty Bennett, Josh Johnson, and they've Hank Bumper down the front straightaway between Ryan Ebner and Christian Henson, and they're going to be able to keep those cars rolling. Here comes the 24 Henson to the inside of Josh Johnson, and then he'll be able to claim that third spot as they go into turn three. They'll make it official when they come across the start finish line this time by complete lap number four in the book. And it's all Chavis Bennett. Henson, Johnson, Tony sent him into the top five now. Field starting to get stretched out here. Wendell Chavis shows the way. Ty Bennett in second. Christian Henson in the third spot. Then you got Tony Sampson, I believe, is back in the fifth spot. And Sampson's going to fall deep into the field. Sampson up the fourth. Caution will wave. Caution out over here in turn number four. I believe Josh Haskins in the 60 card involved in the 312 Ashton Johnson. And he's got some damage, I believe, on the 312 machine. Johnson involved. You've seen Josh Haskins pulling away. Mitchell Bridges was pulling away in the 33. So we got five laps complete, 10 laps to go, and five minutes left in the time limit. That's just where we're at. A lot of cautions here in super heavy warm-up. I know a lot of people is wanting to watch the senior champ race. Go over, subscribe to pitrow.tv, $24.95, like we've been mentioning. You don't just get the go-karts. You get a lot of car racing action as well. And, and once again, Pit Road TV, they also cover SRL racing. SRL racing is covered on pitroad.tv. And we'll go ahead and remind you before then, if you want to watch the rest of the weekend and watch the rest of the day and watch those big races coming up, make sure you are subscribed on pitroad.tv at $24.95 for the monthly subscription. Once again, we're five laps to complete this super heavy warm-up feature. We're underway. Dive in it in the second spot. Christian Henson. Oh, Matt Lee gets wheel hopped. He'll shovel up the racetrack. Josh Carter marching his way back through the field. Austin Smith gets turned down the back straightaway. And I believe he's going to be in the infield. We're going to keep it green. And it's Chavis. Here comes Christian Henson for second. Move to 24 to the second spot. Here comes Sansom into the battle. Ryan Hefner the fifth. Brian, Brian, here they come. As Wendell Chavis, can he have a challenge here in just a moment? Wendell Chavis is going to have company pretty soon, I do believe. Tony Sampson's coming. 
as well as Christian Henson. Henson closing in on that back bumper, lap by lap. As they work through turns three and four, working off of turn four, Henson is there. He's up to the back bumper, Chavis. Wendell Chavis got plenty of company. Justin McDonald's on the fence cheering him on it. Justin McDonald's on the fence cheering him on as his driver is making to make the move for the lead into turn number three. He picked him out a good one, and it's going to be Christian Henson to the lead out of turn number four. Your new race leader, Christian Henson, to the point. Five to go this time by for Christian Henson. Henson starting to pull away from Wendell Chavis. Ty Bennett, Tony Sanson, and Matt Lee. That's your top five as they work off a of turn four. Five to go. Five left to go for Christian Henson as they go into one and two. Looking for his biggest win of his career. Wendell Chavis. Here comes your, another local driver, Rock Hill, South Carolina's Matt Lee, going to take the fourth spot as they go into turn number three and four in the 71. He started in 20th, and he's made his way to fourth in the 71. Send some back to fifth. Josh Carter, six. Ryan Ebner, seven. Josh Haskins, eight. Ryan O'Connor, ninth. And Michael Falwell, your top ten. Caution will wave. Caution out from Michael Heath, the 009 car. And you've seen the damage on the right rear of the 009 and some debris going across the speedway as he takes a clean exit out of the speedway. Five laps remaining to go in this one. Ten of 15 complete. Once again, it is 15 minutes, so once we hit the time limit, once it hits 15 minutes, the next flag will end the race. Whether we go all the way to the end or if a caution comes out before then. But Christian Henson in control. Singer champ is there, ready to go. Pro Junior 2, get your final adjustments made. Be making your way to the grid, please. Be making your way to the grid, Pro Junior 2. Be making your way down, please. And Christian Henson is your leader, but it's about to get crazy. These drivers know it's only five to go. They got to make some moves. As we are nearing the time limit, coming up on a minute left in the time limit, so. But also, Brian, you got to take it to account. They got another race coming up here shortly. If you make an enemy now, you might have an enemy when it comes to the big money. So sometimes you got to be careful what you wish for when it comes to these warm up races. Oh, for sure. And not to mention that race coming up later is 50 laps. So, like I always say, you got to be there, be there at the end to win it. So, like you just talking about, you don't want to make no enemies get taken out early in the race and you're out of the game before you even get started. And before we go back green, we are going to run out of time. So we will race to the next flag. Looks like we got about 30 seconds left in the time limit. 30 seconds. Christian Henson leading them back right here. Everybody getting in line and we are underway. Henson, Chavis, Bennett, Sansom, and Matt Lee, your top five in the turn one and two. Down that back straight away. Henson going to play block down to the inside. Chavis looking down low. Bennett is there. Here comes Matt Lee in the fray. Ryan Hebner's there. Josh Carter from the tail of the field twice up to the sixth position as they come out of four, four to go. Time limit has been raced. The next flag will end the race. Next flag ends the race. Christian Henson starting to pull away once again from Wendell Chavis. Ty Bennett, Matt Lee, Ryan Hebner, that's your top five. Jimmy Flynn up to 10th, all the way from 23rd. Matt Lee has charged from 20th to the third position, as now Chavis applying the pressure on Henson. Henson going to have to give him the lane. Wendell Chavis going to reclaim the lead off turn number four, but it's not over two laps to go. Wendell Travis was waiting to make his move. He's back to the point. Christian Henson up to the back bumper. Matt Lee on the back bumper of Henson. Matt Lee's going to look to the inside. Here comes Christian Henson. Contact Henson gets to the back Matt bumper Lee of Travis. They both spin. 
White flag waving, that leads to the lead. Wendell Chavis and Crenson Henson took each other out. And we got one going around, and it's Haskins as they'll race back to the checkered flag into turn number three from 20th, starting on the grid. He led one lap, and it's the one that matters most. Matt Lee, your winner. Josh Carter in second, Ryan Hebner, Tony Sansom, Ty Bennett, Brian, oh, baby. Wow, what a finish from 20th to win it. Matt Lee out of Rock Hill, South Carolina, the biggest win of his career here today. And at 71, a former Piedmont Cartway track champion takes it home. And we'll show you the replay right here as Chavis reclaimed the lead. Henson gave him the bumper, and they both washed up the racetrack and both spun coming to the white flag. Henson dug to the outside, across the track, into the, into the left rear of Chavis. They wheel hopped coming out of turn number four, and both out of the groove they went and opened the gates for Matt Lee. And once again, thank you for joining us on pitroad.tv for the live look in. If you want to watch the rest of the package, go to pitroad.tv to, to claim that monthly subscription for $24.95. If you want to see more excitement like what you just seen, you will see it on pitroad.tv if you get that monthly subscription, $24.95 a month. And we appreciate each and every one of you tuning in on our live look in. And be sure to go get that subscription if you want to see more excitement of what you just saw.